Special thanks to Cory in the house Gingrich for requesting this figure, you meme loving fuck. <laughs> I wish I stayed in school. Evil Dead is a 1981 horror movie directed by Sam Raimi, better known for his work on the original Spider-Man trilogy <laughs> and Oz the Great and Powerful. It's about a group of friends who take a trip into a cabin in the woods, where they find a mysterious book which they shouldn't have read because shit gets Nasty. I love this movie, one of the best horror movies in my opinion. But I only ever watched the first movie. I guess after part one, the series got increasingly silly and comedic. That is until the remake that didn't happen. But there's no denying that the Evil Dead franchise is embedded within popular culture. You can see its influences from Cabin in the Woods to Resident Evil 7. And that is going in the tags. The painting and the sculpting on this figure is awesome. This figure depicts main character Ashley J. Williams, played by Bruce Campbell. And I gotta say, the figure does an alright job at depicting Bruce Campbell's likeness. That is, if he were made out of wax and left under the sun for too long. The sculpting on the face isn't perfect, but it's passably Bruce Campbell. At least they got the chin right. The sculpting and painting for the rest of the figure is really well done, like these wrinkles on the shirt on his ass. Honestly, this is way better than I expected it to be. I bought this guy on eBay from a shady Chinaman, so I was half expecting this guy to crumble in my hands. But nope, really solid in terms of both the look and feel of the figure. I mean, just look at the detail on the chainsaw. If this is a bootleg, then I will put it in the trash. Where the sculpting really falls flat for me is the left hand. Maybe with a little more shading it could look good, but as it is, it looks like Ash needs to replace this hand too. But at least it does a good job at holding his boomstick. And the painting and sculpting on this thing is awesome. Really subtle metallic finish on the blacks, but the dry brushing on the top is a little messy. Come on, NECA, I could do better than that. And he comes with a few accessories. First off, you get an alternate angry head, which is kind of a bitch to replace. But to make my life easier, I'll just soften up the plastic with a hair dryer. And uh, the sculpting on this face is a little better than the last one. Still looks kind of weird, but I love how full of life it is. That battle damage is kind of shit though. And you also get an alternate robotic arm. You simply remove the chainsaw arm and... You'll probably have to heat this one up too. And god damn, this thing is fucking amazing! The sculpting, the painting, the dry brushing, everything on here is on point. And finally you get a... Uh... Uh, I have a feeling the seller I bought it from included this piece by mistake because it seems to not serve any functional purpose. But maybe in the show he loses his robotic hand. I don't watch TV. As much as I like the robotic arm, it's a shame that there's really no posability in the wrist. But at least I get a <laughs> ball joint at the head, can look up that far and look down that far. And of course every ball joint rotation at the arm. And disappointingly, the arm only moves out that far. Elbow swivel, double bend, another elbow swivel, swivel at the wrist. And despite not having a right hand, Truly. tight swivel at the waist, little bit of a crunch, rotation at the leg, and his old man ass gets in the way of rotating backwards, pretty good spread, tight thigh swivel that's not as tight as I thought, bend at the knee, Loose up and down at the ankle, and a slight pivot. So the figure's posability is limited, but it's still possible to get some decent poses out of this guy. And he's got a decent size. Here's Masterpiece Optimus Prime, Figma Madoka Kaname, SH Monster Arts Godzilla, and a fellow NECA figure, the 1954 Godzilla. Overall, the figure's pretty good. <laughs> but honestly, this is not the kind of figure I collect. It's not weeb enough for me. But anyone looking for an Evil Dead figure, this is a pretty good option. And as you heard in the beginning, I would have never bought this figure if it wasn't for Corey Gingrich on Patreon. Thank you so much for your $10 pledge. For some reason, Corey Gingrich wanted me to put this picture in the review. Ah!